Spelling rule. Words ending in GE and DGE. Words in English don't end with the letter J. When a word ends with a J sound, it's either spelt GE or DGE. Take a look at these words for example. Cage, fridge, charge, gouge, fudge. All of these words end with the same sound, J, but some end with GE, while others end with DGE. So how do we know whether to use GE or DGE? To answer this, we must think about the sound that comes before the J sound. If there is a short vowel sound directly before the J, it is spelt with DGE. If it's not a short vowel sound, it's spelt with GE. Take the word fudge, for example. The sound immediately before the J is the short vowel sound A. Ah. Therefore, J in fudge is spelt DGE. In the word charge, the sound immediately before the J is ah, not a short vowel sound, so we just add GE. In the word gouge, before the J are two vowels that combine to make the long vowel sound ow. This means we just add GE. Look at these words, wage, judge, bridge, sponge. They all end with the J sound. Are they spelt with GE or DGE? Pause here while you work them out. Judge has the short vowel sound A ah immediately before the J. This means it's spelt with DGE. Bridge also has a short vowel sound I. Bridge is spelt with DGE. Wage has the long vowel sound A, meaning it's spelt with GE. Sponge has an N before the J sound. Sponge is therefore also spelt with GE. Let's try three more words. This time I won't show you the word beginnings. Hedge, hinge, badge, page. Pause here while you work. Hedge has the short E sound, E, eh, so it is spelt with a DGE. In the word hinge, we can hear there is an N before the J sound. Therefore, we just add GE. Badge has the short A sound, A, ah, so it is spelt with DGE. Page has a single vowel but it makes the long vowel sound A. Page is spelt with G-E. If there is a short vowel sound directly before the J, it is spelt with D-G-E. If it's not a short vowel sound, it's spelt with G-E. Easyteaching.net 